Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we're not going to be doing a build. We're um, being asked about the P Horrenda spiky giant spiky assassin bug setup and how I keep them and stuff. So what we're going to do is uh, have a quick look at my enclosure and then um, because I'm, I've sold a few of these, so um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a harvest as well and show you how to harvest them so you can sell them on because these guys have loads and loads of babies, but yeah, they're proper cool. Right. Assassin bug set up. I'm going to do uh, another build for these soon. But basically what, it, what I've got here, I've got a glass tank. I don't build a back wall or anything because you don't really want them climbing all the way to the top. But what I do is there's under that skull there, there's, um, that's where I keep my damp area. So that's where they go and lay their eggs in there. I've also, I've just taken it out, but I have a water tray, but I do put a bit of cork bark in there. Um, so if any babies sort of land in there, then um, they're able to sort of climb out. But these guys are so easy to keep. And they're really, really cool. They like to share food, fight over food. They're so interesting to watch and usually pretty active. But as you can see from there, there's quite a few. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest out all the little babies because I've got quite a few others that are quite big that I'm going to just leave, leave in there to grow but the tiny little baby ones I'm going to fish out and put into another so now to harvest so what we've got is another tank paintbrush wine glass shot glass and I'm going to put a few in one of these little tubs. I've got about three or three of these sort of set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, put them into like pots of five or 10 because I am selling some of these off. So to keep them aside and in their own tank would be a lot easier than keep going into the main, the main as to speak and keep fishing them all out again. But as I said, I think I've traded, well, only about three months ago, I traded out, there was 80 and another 20, so about 100, 100 and odd went out of this. And pretty much within that time, I've got another load of babies in there. So we're going to hook them all out and just keep the, the bigger ones in there. You see the bigger ones there? And obviously the adults, we're going to keep those in there. And then, um, yeah, I'll just keep half of them off. But I am going to put these into a big tank. I was actually thinking that maybe because I'm doing the Evil Dead one, um, making that one into one big assassin bug tank. But, well, we'll see once I've finished. Right, so we've got a separate tank. I've just taken out the branch of that one. And as you can see... There was actually loads of babies just on that bit. And some big ones that I'm actually going to keep. But um, next thing, shot glass. Yeah, because it's nice and small and these little guys are really small. It makes it easy for you to use a paintbrush and pop them in. He says. <laughs> As they can't climb glass, they're pretty good in that. Now the wine glass, just pop them in. What I use to do, this is always um, a good method to use when you're packing them up to post on as well. Because then you can say, put say 10 in the wine glass have you, um, obviously, you, what you're going to pack them up in already. Just pour them in, and that's it. 
like using the shot glass is a lot easier than trying to use a big catch cup for these little little guys. Right. Right. Just captured ten of the little beasties in there. And this little setup here basically got a bit of cork bark in there, bunged a bit of moss in there. So let's just spray that to feed them. And they'll be fine with that. But uh, I can keep them in here until either someone wants to buy them or um, I trade them for something or um, whatever, but it makes it a lot easier. But I'd say like do this for a little setup if you're buying any of these little guys, nice little setup. Yeah, it's quite a big deli pot, but it'll be perfect in there. Um, for the babies, I feed them on real small dubias or um, real, real tiny crickets. But um, yeah, but yeah, you need to buy these guys because they're really cool, especially when they get to. My adulthood. They're really, really cool to watch. But yeah, this uh, tank needs a, a good clean out. But as you say, look, I've just taken 10 out and there's still loads in there. I have no idea how many is in that skull either. So, alright, guys, thanks. They're the bigger ones. I'll put them in. There's five in that pot there. Obviously, I didn't want to put too many of them in as they're not really big pots. But yeah, I'll just keep them in here and just miss the pot in here. Uh, and feed, feed on small two ears and they'll be fine. But even so, that's a nice, perfect little setup for them. As I said, uh, keep them in the same way as you would tease, really. And all, all I've really got is to, um, tarantulas and these guys. And considering they're doing so well, I don't think I'm doing that bad, actually. But, uh, yeah, I've certainly had half a ton of babies out of them. And uh, it means my colony, I'll probably just keep it at a level. Just keep taking out, because you don't want too many of them in there. And it goes crazy. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. Thanks for that. Um, just thought I'd, um, I've been asked loads of questions on those ones anyway, so I thought it'd be easier just to do a like, little quick video than keep answering no questions. But um, yeah, uh, if you need to ask anything else, just uh, um, pop me a message or something. But yeah, they're simple as easy. But they're all back in here now. I managed to get what, I harvested what, 45 out of that. And considering I took a lot, um, 100 babies out of there, I think that's, you know, that's pretty, pretty good. So hopefully they'll all find new homes soon. Um, be another video out this week where I promised a PR mini a build. I'm going to be working over on that um, today and tomorrow. So uh, for now, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.